Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Ed Richet. And you will see in Photopia, I am ready to open a new project. And I'm going to make this print A4 and make the width and the height the same, 297. I click enter and then create and I have a square project to work on. I'm now going to open a photo that I took on holiday. Ed Richet is uh, famous for his kind of South California vibes. So this is a uh, photo from Palm Springs. So I'm going to take this bit of mountain here and use the rectangle select tool to select a square of it, holding shift, and then control C to copy it and control V to paste it into my project. And I'm then going to use the arrow tool to move it around and resize it so it fits the whole of the project space. And once I've done that, I want to get rid of the sky. So I'm going to use the magic wand tool and click on the sky. But you'll see it hasn't taken everything. So I'm going to change the tolerance to 35. So it makes it so it takes the whole sky and then press delete. And then I want to make my mountains black and white. So I'm going to go image adjustments, black and white and click OK. And then I'm going to go image adjustments, brightness and contrast. And I'm just going to mess with those to make my image a little bit more dramatic with a bit more contrast and a bit brighter. I still might need to change that later, but for now, that's looking good. Right, let's do the sky. So I'm going to use the color select and I'm going to grab a kind of navy color and a kind of orange color. I've chosen complementaries on purpose for effect. I'm then going to use the gradient tool on my background layer just in the sky area to make a nice gradient going from blue to orange. And then I'm going to use image adjustments hue saturation. I'm just going to bring the saturation down a little bit, make it a bit less vibrant. There we go, looking good. Okay. I think that's a nice California vibe going on there. Next up, text. Okay. Ed Richet is famous for grabbing text that he sees around him. I'm doing the same thing. I was reminded how good uh, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee was and so I thought I would take a quote from that and I haven't taken the whole quote on purpose I've left it a bit mysterious so I've only taken half the quote and you can see me here typing it in and then moving it about resizing it using the arrow tool okay and now I'm centering it and I'm just going to go back to the text tool and change up the color from black to white, click OK. All right, all good. Now I can't really see my text, so I'm gonna go back to that mountain layer. Told you I'd need to. Go image adjustments, brightness and contrast. And I'm gonna bring down the brightness so you can see that text a little bit better. OK. Right, now the font I've used is one that's preloaded into Photopia called White Rabbit. I think it does quite a good job of replicating the type font that Ed Richet made called uh, Boy Scout Utility Modern. But I think we could do a better job. So I would suggest you go to this website, thefont.com, and you'll find a whole host of fonts um, that you can use. Most of them, though, be mindful, are for personal use. So you obviously need to be careful about licensing for commercial use. But um, there's a whole ton of different fonts here for different uses that you can install onto your computer and install into Photopia, which is what we're going to do. Now, under the themes, I need you to go to old school and you'll see there's a whole load of fonts that are very similar to Ed Richet's font. But the one we want is called Boo College, B-O-U College. Okay, so in the search bar, search for that. And there it is. I've done a lot of searching. I think this is the closest to Ed Richet's font that we're going to get. 
and you want to download it and then open the download folder work out where it's been downloaded to okay so in this case downloads and then you want to go to the type font and you want to go to load font and then it's going to let you find where that font is so i'm going to go to downloads which is where the font is there's the folder double click the folder and it will tell me that the font's been installed at which point i can go back to my project and i can highlight that text and i can go to the font and i can search for boo college and there it is click on it and that gives me that font okay and i'm going to do one last thing which is use the arrow tool just to make the font a bit bigger on my page and move it so it's a little bit more central and i think that is it just zoom in so you can see and we can call this piece done and dusted I hope this tutorial is helpful.